Hi guys! In this video I am going to talk about velvet hangers, which seems like an unusual topic, but it's something I couldn't find a whole lot of information on online, and I actually took the plunge and got some velvet hangers, and I'm going to talk to you today about why I got them and whether I like them or not. So I remember ages ago, um, Mel, Makeup by Mel, was talking about velvet hangers, or I think there's there's another name for the ones she got, she got those um, like JML or QVC style ones, and she ordered them and she was raving about them. So I heard nothing about them since until about a month ago. I think I read about them in a magazine. And I had a gift voucher for Amazon that I wasn't using. And I said, you know what, I'm just gonna order a lot of them. So I ordered 50 of these beige hangers, velvet hangers. And I think they were about 20 pounds, which was about, it was about 25 euro, 27 euro maybe. Um, so if you break that down, that works out at Four to 55 cents a hanger which is not bad at all I've also seen these in pennies or ones very similar in pennies or Primark so these are quite widely available online or in store now what is the big scoop with these hangers they claim to look after your clothes better and keep the shape better as you can see they just look like normal hangers to me I used to use any hangers just basically the cheap ones that you get free with your clothes in pennies or duns do I notice the difference Yes, and I will show you an example in just a moment and I will also show you space saving in my wardrobe. These also claim that you can hang a lot more clothes in a lot less space and I was thinking that's absolute horseshit. How is that even possible? A hanger is a hanger and my own mother was saying to me like it's completely impossible or it's a gimmick but I've actually seen firsthand the difference it makes and I'm going to show you my wardrobe in just a moment. These cling on to your clothes. So if you have like a string top, you couldn't put that on a normal plastic hanger because the straps would fly off. These actually keep the straps of your string top stuck. I mean like it's actually sometimes difficult to get your clothes off these babies. I will show you an example right now. Here is your normal average Joe camisole top or string top or spaghetti top, spaghetti top or whatever you like to call them. If I hang that on a normal hanger, and shake it around, the straps are going to come off. And I'm actually, okay, well, there it goes. I didn't even shake it that heavily. But as you know, this would never work. Even the ones with the grippy rubbers here, still not great. So you put this into your wardrobe and you're gonna probably find it on the floor of your wardrobe within a few days. Da -da -da! Oh, God, hanger, help me help you. That's going nowhere. nowhere it is stuck the, the velvet literally clings on to the material in your clothes no matter how small the contact is and it's not letting your clothes go anywhere i'll show you another example with a longer top i have this on a wire hanger at the moment and we all know these are a bit of a disaster these it, it slides off so easily you can see there yourself it's sliding off like so easily once i pop this onto my velvet hanger it's going nowhere it's really actually hard to get this off the velvet almost clings to your material and again this is going nowhere now I don't want this to sound like a complete infomercial because there are cons too I read on the Amazon reviews that the black velvet hangers actually can stain your clothes so that's why I opted for the beige so if I did have to give you a tip it would be to go for the beige ones because the black ones are known to stain I am now going to take you to my boudoir to a bedroom and I'm going to show you my wardrobe and I'm going to show you the difference between a segment that's using just these hangers and then a segment using an assortment of others so just give me a second so here we are in my wardrobe and it's perfectly clear where the velvet hangers have segmented in here and where the disarray is for the other hangers all along here. I'm hoping you can see. But basically this just looks so messy, scattered, stuffed, but here looks lovely and neat. And as you can see, there's a lot more clothes compressed in here than there would be in the exact same space over here. 
Also, it has to be said, it looks a lot more uniform and neat, tidy to have everything on the one hanger. Now you might be saying, Laura, why haven't you actually converted your entire wardrobe? The reason is I only bought 50 of these velvet hangers, therefore I don't have enough to do my whole wardrobe. I thought 50 might more or less cover it, but with another rail down there, nope, that is not possible. So I need to order probably another more hundred more of these in order to convert my entire wardrobe. But the difference is phenomenal, like that everything is sticking out, but here everything is nice and uniform. I can thoroughly give these a thumbs up. So I think that these are a great thing and a good addition to anyone's wardrobe who wants to look after their clothes, have everything neat, tidy, uniform. I never thought I'd be making a video about a hanger, but there you go. These get a 10 out of 10 from me. Let me know down below if you've ever tried these or if you'd be interested in trying them. I'd be interested to hear your feedback. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you really, really soon. Bye.